Hello, welcome brethren. I am Brother Azana David. Welcome to Biblical Sexual Purity. I want to share with us how Satan actually operates using uh, human sexual immorality in case humans, those who disobey God and break his laws. Uh, I just shared a dream that I had, uh, a revelation that I had that God gave me and explained to me how Satan use uh, uses human sperm i mean and demonic agents not just satan and his angels uh, how they use human sperms and uh, the female egg to produce uh, demonic beings now i want to explain in detail how satan uh, despise his people he despises his people abroad especially in brutals and how they call it human spam and use spams against human being uh, in case you're new please subscribe to my youtube channel be spirit tv and follow me on uh, my social media platforms on twitter facebook biblical sexual purity and visit my websites also you can sign up my website of biblical sexual purity .com. And also on my other website, Iguayopna. Now, uh, a lot of people don't actually know what it means to sleep with a, a, a prostitute. There are a lot of human beings who are living in this world today who don't have human parents. A lot of people, demonic agents, are being transported from the marine kingdom into this world each year. And their activity, their main assignment is to sleep with as many as they can. As the Lord uh, revealed things to me, I've posted a lot of warnings about these things, even some revelations on uh, biblicalsexualpurity.com, how Satan uses sex in this human beings. Sex is holy, but sexual immorality is unholy, and because it is an unholy act, Satan promotes it and uh, makes use, takes, takes advantage of human beings who, en who engage in different kind of sexual immorality. No matter how small, Satan uh, could gain access into your life if you partake in it, if you indulge in sexual immorality. Now, there are brutals in this world. In fact, it is very rare for you to find a brutal, well, I mean, where prostitutes, prostitutes, I don't like calling them sex workers because uh, there's nothing like sex worker. It's not a job. Uh, where prostitutes stay, where they live or where they go to and have sex for money. There are a lot of a lot of people today who uh, do this kind of work, and as they do the work, they also promote satanism. A lot of satanic agents are everywhere, uh, sleeping with people, and when they sleep with people, they collect their spams. I want to tell you that spam has life. The Bible says that the life of every living thing, every human being, is in the blood. Now, the real blood. Uh, a satanic agent actually confessed and he said that the sperm is called the golden white fluid. It is called, it is the most precious fluid so far. It contains blood, it contains so many things, even your DNA, the spiritual information, your medical information, your medical makeup information your components are embedded in your dna so anytime you have sex a lot of people will say well i use protection i tell you these pems are collected by demonic powers in that brutal and there are human beings too uh, re i mean re human beings i'm not talking about people who are either hybrid or demonic agents who uh, put on human flesh no i'm talking about we human beings i have been in deliverance ministry for so many years and i've heard a lot of satanic agents make this confession the lord also revealed to me and i questioned them some of them will open up and tell me the truth that yes this is what is actually happening a lot of people have their sex organs changed and some have the sex organ of a dog of different goats, different kind of animals. I'm talking about both males and females. Some males have the sex organ of a horse. And it, the, the main activity, the main purpose of this is for them to have sex and not be tired. Also for them to uh, use these organs to 
suck blood to drain blood from their victims so anytime you have sex with them whether you use protection i mean a condom or not they have access to your life and they drain your blood and this blood are uh, taken to the kingdom of darkness a lot of people complain my business is going down i don't know what is happening to me i i have sex in the dream i eat in the dream i am going down spiritually i want to tell you the big a big truth today that you can't be sleeping around and expect your life to go away because there are thousands millions of satanic agents in the world today some don't even need your money all they just need is have sex with you collect your blood collect your sperm collect your sex fluid and go to their kingdom and they are everywhere they have assignments they have their targets to sleep with as much as they can some sleep with like a hundred people a week just like that and it is what they have been sent to do so as a believer please value yourself when the bible says that when uh if a man sleeps with a prostitute, he who joins himself with a prostitute becomes one spirit, becomes one with her. It means that whosoever person you sleep with, that person has a level, a, a high degree of access into your life. The Lord told me some time ago, I posted a revelation on my website, biblicalsexualpurity.com, that you can't hide your secrets, I mean, your secrets, your spiritual information from anybody you sleep with because they become one flesh with you. So it becomes very, very difficult, in fact, in, practically impossible for you to hide your information from them because they have access. And whenever you sleep with those people who are possessed, the demons in them they already won. They have won. They are one with the person they are possessing. So that demon have access to your life too. So when you become one with someone that is possessed, the demons possessing that person also have access to your life. Please value your life very well. Do not sleep around. The Lord is warning a warning us who are human beings that satan lives in this world but many people don't want to hear a lot of people don't want to listen to advice the feel they are enjoying themselves uh, for me i feel that by the time i decide in my heart and intentionally decide to go and sleep with somebody that is not my wife i am not offending god primarily i am offending myself before god so it's not just that God said, uh, I shouldn't do it. That is why I am not doing it. I am not doing it because primarily it is for my own good. I don't want to quench the fire of God in my life. Uh, a lot of people say, even if you sin against God, uh, he will forgive you. But I tell you that the sin of sexual immorality, adultery, and fornication, you first of all sin against yourself. Even if God will forgive you, uh, you may not actually it depends on individuals anyway you may not be able to go back to the same place you fell from you may go back but it may take time some if it is a covenant with god you may not go back i tell you the truth when Samson disobeyed God, we know we know exactly what happened to Samson. So you should be wise. We Christians, we should be wise. And you should continue to pray because some of these demonic agents moving about, they have demonic powers. They could look at somebody and manipulate the person spiritually so that the person could lose his or her senses. Please be prayerful and don't sleep around. Uh, even if you want to get married, Make sure you don't sleep with the person first before you go to bed with the person. Because in case you didn't pray well and the person is a demonic agent, they will not have much power in the marriage if you do not commit sin with them before you take them to the altar. But if you sin with them, they have a lot of control they are going to assert over you. So please stay away from sexual immorality. All this brutals you see, there is no brutal you don't find a demonic agent. I mean, uh, de both demonic spirits and uh, really you you don't find uh, a demonic human agent that is not collecting spams. They are around. Uh, there are males too who are collecting human uh, female sex fluid. And they take this in some, they belong to physical secret societies. They go to their secret societies and use these things. But primarily, Satan needs those things. 
he uses them to produce things. So please stay away from sexual immorality. Teach your children to be pure. Thank you for listening. If you find this message useful, if it blesses your life, please share it on social media. I don't actually hold any copyright to my videos. You are free to share all my videos, all my write-ups. They are not mine. I'm doing the work of God. And I also ask you that you pray for me. You know, a lot of ministers don't want to talk about things like this. But the Lord has warned me to talk about things like this. Even yesterday, I had a revelation while I was in church. Uh, I saw a lady putting on tight and... The thing was seductive. The Lord told me, Hosanna, speak about these things. Just don't close your mouth. Talk about these things. Talk about these things. Don't keep quiet. So I have pressure. There's a lot of pressure on me. Please support this ministry in any way the Lord touches you to support this ministry. Please support this ministry and share my videos. Spread the word of God. Visit my website, biblicalsexualpurity.com. Once again, I'm Brother Hosanna David. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye.